So it's the longest race, uh, it's the longest leg in the race's history. Um, it's over 12,000 nautical miles. Um, and basically it's a, it's a lap of Antarctica, I would call it. We, uh, we start here in Cape Town. Uh, we're gonna go round the, through the Southern Ocean, starting the Indian Ocean and then the Pacific Ocean. Um, we leave uh, Australia and New Zealand uh, to port and we have Antarctica on our starboard side. And then we're gonna come around the corner of um, South America, around Cape Horn and up to Itajai. Um, it's kind of some of the most extreme places, so lots of weather systems. The, South, the Southern Ocean is a very notorious place but we've also got a very light wind, tricky finish there up on the way to Itajai. So we can see the rankings kind of completely change right there at the finish. Yeah, exactly. I think it's, I think it's going to be a big achievement for all the boats just finishing, let alone, uh, you know, actually doing this as a race. It's, it's so notorious for the, the really tough conditions down here with kind of waves up to 10 meters, we'll expect at times. And, and I think the average wind speed of somewhere around 30 to 40 knots. So I think, you know, these, these boats are, are very complicated, the Amokas, they're designed to go <coughs> very fast. They're kind of the Formula One of, of the oceans and, and we really push them to the limit. You know, we're, we're trying to do this balance of, of making a fast boat, but also a very reliable boat. So um, we're working now to really make it a reliable boat, but it's also gonna be how we sail the boat down there, how we, how we manage to fix things, how we manage to come, kind of come through the, the tough moments where kind of the unexpected happens. And I think just by finishing, that's gonna be um, a big achievement. You know, it's my first time down in the Southern Ocean as well. So I'll be really happy to have done this race. But I think, um, I think you know, if you can sail reliably and sail well, then you're in for a good chance of being very competitive in this leg. It's, it's really about surviving the 40 days at sea, surviving all these miles and all the tough conditions. And, um, and then you're, you're in for a good chance of, of, uh, of doing well. But I think for us, our strategy is gonna be the last 10 or, 10 or so days, we're gonna want the boat to be at 100% still so that we can really kind of put the throttle down and try and try and beat the others to the finish. So f for me, sailing in such a long race and such remote oceans, it's, it's kind of gonna, one of those things on my, you know, sailing list was to, to sail in these, in these oceans and to, to be racing in this, in the ocean race. It's, uh, you know, the top, top race I wanted to do. And um, I think just by, um, by wanting to do it for so many years, you know, I think there's going to be really tough times, but I'm going to kind of push myself through it, make sure that, you know, I, although it's going to be tricky sometimes, there's going to be some amazing moments, you know, to be some of the most remote humans in the world while we're racing, to, to see the albatrosses and to, to kind of be in these remote parts of the oceans. I think um, not many people get to experience this and, and uh, it's really kind of a dream of mine to be down here. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. And I think I'm just going to have a lot of stories to tell when I get to Itajai. So <laughs> I'm looking forward to, uh, to the experiences that we have coming up. Yeah, I think, you know, it's such a long time at sea is 40 days. It's, it is hard being away from your family and kind of your home um, for this time. You know, the, the whole race can be a little bit difficult in this sense, but I think this one's going to be particularly difficult because it's just such a long period of time. Um, luckily, we get to write to our family back on shore and I'll definitely be sending them a few emails, just kind of updating them. And, um, but I'll definitely miss kind of the, the, the comforts of being at home and, um, and kind of seeing everyone. Um, but then again, I think it makes, uh, you know, when you arrive that, that, that much better, you know, to, to kind of share this, this adventure together and, and to kind of arrive and, and tell everyone about it. That's the things that I'll be kind of dreaming of when I'm at sea. So I've just got to look forward to those moments when kind of times are tough and I'm, I'm missing being at home. But um, yeah, I think uh, that's going to be some tricky bits to it. Yeah, I think it's really cool to see that there's so many uh, British sailors involved in this race. I think four of the five boats have uh, British sailors on board. Um, so that's, that's really promising for the kind of the future of, uh, of offshore sailing in the UK. Um, I was, you know, we're all very lucky to be here doing this racing and we've all found our own pathways to it. But um, it would be fantastic to see in the future, you know, more British sailors coming through and, and especially to have a stopover in the UK. Um, in the future, I'd, I'd love to see that because, um, you know, the UK's has an, an endless coast coastline and um, you know it's kind of been known as a sailing nation um, and so it'd be great to see um, more more and more involvement um, and I think it's about developing that pathway for, for sailors in the future to, to build up the experience and to have the opportunities to then come and do these sorts of races.